All right, going to the gym, you know, you see some pretty strong people, <laughs> but the idea of being fit quickly changes when you see men and ladies lifting and carrying things two or three times their own body weight. Yes, that's right. And it's just like our guests. With us today, we have Jennifer, Steve, and Stan, and I'm gonna go ladies first. What are you doing? Why, why this drive to go the extra? I mean, you're not just lifting little weights. It's fun. It's, it's, you know, it's I am, fun. It is fun. <laughs> it is fun because I am a little stronger and so it's, it's, one of my friends actually got me into it and it's, I enjoy the camaraderie. The people you are like fantastic. It. I do. I totally so enjoy what's, it. So okay, first, do you mind giving us your height and weight? Because this kind of helps put things I'm in perspective. I'm six and a half and I'm 160. Now, how much can you lift? 400. About oh, 400. Yeah. How long did it take you to work up to that? A while. For it, sure. It does, yeah, doesn't it? It a while, yes. Small little steps. So what sure. was the training like for you at first when you were like, I'm, am I really going to do this? Um, well, I just decided that, you know, just try the little weights and then add weights as, you know, I progressed and then it, it kept adding more and more. So when you're out there at competitions like this, the adrenaline rush that you get, is it something that you've never experienced no, before? Yeah. Is it That's like exciting. the, how do you, how do you mentally get prepared? I was terrified because the first one was last year, so I was terrified. And but it was so much fun because everyone was fantastic, and it made you feel so welcome. And it, it was very contagious. So sure. I am so I just think that's awesome. Very very cool. Well, good luck this weekend. Thank you. All right, Steve. Now you're at age 48. You're at 48. So at that age, what made you decide to to do something like this? A new challenge. New challenge. I started bodybuilding in the 80s. Played football triathlons it's like let's do something different and met Stan said hey these guys are great the camaraderie and the fun we truly have a ton of fun doing this oh I've been and it's there. competition right but you're more competing with yourself than you are with the others and you just want to see what where's your max how much can I do how much am I capable of so what's the max that you've done not enough oh my. <laughs> so I mean and you what about the the, the tires that you lift and I have a 1,010 pound tire, a 360 stone, but I've loaded a 335 pound stone. Don't know what my max deadlift yeah, or squat is because I don't try for right, you know, right, right. It's so event stuff, fun, fun stuff. Yep. Now there's a, a lot of young guys out there. Absolutely, you're 48. Yep. But as I'm getting older and learn, don't you think you have a little bit of an edge? If I'm saying this correctly, because you know your body better, you mm -hmm. are stronger in a lot of ways. We have a distinct advantage mentally, but physically we're on the downhills. I mean, I can't compete with those guys week in and week out. Right. But on any given day, I'll give any one of them a run for their money. And you love that. <laughs> Absolutely. Look at it like, yeah. <laughs> it's fun. Same for as a lady yeah. as well. It's, I, I mean, it'd be the same thing. You know, and I've been out there, and what I think a lot of people forget in Colorado is that we have uh, Mike Burke, yep. world champion. Yep. Brian Shaw, Tyler Stickle. I mean, they're all professionals, mm -hmm. and they're all such great role models. So I've been out there, and I love it. <laughs> I think it's so, and the camaraderie, like you said, is awesome. All right, Stan, now, you are the, a pro athlete. Yes. What, what does that mean? Pro athlete basically means that you can only compete in pro competitions. Like the local one that we'll have on Saturday, I can't, can't. compete in that. No. So we'll be invited to shows. Uh, we'll travel across country, stuff like that. So that's basically what a pro is. Now, what did it take for you to get there? Competitions that we're going to starting off Saturday? Saturday. Yeah, this was my lead up to getting the pro card. So I went from Parker Days, and I've, every competition that we've had for Parker Days, I've competed in. So started off there, then I got to another show, qualified for nationals, uh -huh. and then I went to another show that was in uh, Louisiana, and I got there, and that's when I got my pro card. And then from there, it just turned into something bigger. So. And what, what are some tips? I mean, you're out there judging on, on Saturday. Yeah. And you make sure that they get the amount of squats in and you touch whatever they touch and you, when they're running back and forth. But what are some tips for competitors? Tips for competitors, especially first time competitors, is have fun. That's the main thing is you get a lot of guys that go out there and they're super nervous. So they go out and they're just, they're so crammed up in their round to go and so they just get nervous and they, they don't perform like they want to. Of course. So if you're having fun and like Steve said, we're going for camaraderie, you're going to have every competitor out there cheering you on. Right. It's not just the fans, it's not just your mom, your dad, that your sister, true. brother. I've yeah. seen it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's everybody's going to be like, come on, man, you got it. You so, it. One yeah. more, one more. So it's not to be nervous, it's go out and have fun. And and what do you think thing. the hardest, there's the different categories, the hardest competition? As far as events? I think, what's the Statlas? The Stones. The yeah. Stone. 
for for some people it's it's very hard especially myself being not the tallest person out there right right <laughs> so if you got the height advantage stones are good for you if you're short you still okay it's just it's technique sometimes right but then you get guys like shaw and mike they're up there to them they're trees to me so <laughs> You know, when they oh, got to put it on incredible. a platform. Right, right. Well, good luck this Saturday. Have fun. Yeah. I think that's the key word that I've been hearing from all three of you. In it, uh, yeah. just, just do it. Have yep. I, love it. I love it. I'm going to be <laughs> out there. Okay. Oh, um, you can see many others in action. They're going to be lifting simple things. Yeah, like tires. That's all. Um, it's incredible. Enjoy the Parker Day Strongman Competition. It is this Saturday. Starts at 11 a.m. It's near the food court. How fitting is that? You know, perfect. <laughs> perfect for you guys. Um, and it's free and you're going to find uh, the setup. It's like I said, the food court, it's right off Parker Road and the main street.